paper first thing Reading fingers ready. Solve the problems. Write your answers to show how many tens and ones. If there is only one ten, cross off the S. Add. Here we go. We have 12 plus 6. We have... Okay, we gotta pay attention to the addition. I think we're gonna go down the page this time because these four are adding and then down here it says subtract. So let's do two adding and two subtracting problems together and then you'll do this side of the paper on your own, okay? So we have 12 plus six. 12 is made up of 10 and two. So we know 10 very quickly. What's 6 and 2? That's 8, right? So we would have a 10 and 8 extra 1s. That makes 18. So we would have, right now it says 1 tens. But remember up here it said if there is only 1 10, cross off the S. So we're going to cross off the S. We don't say 1 tens, right? We would say 1 10 and eight ones. That makes the most sense. Okay, we're going to go down to number three now. We have eight plus seven equals. Now if you know your doubles, what if we did eight plus eight? What would that be? Eight plus eight would be sixteen, right? But seven is one less than eight. So what's one less than 16? Hopefully you know that's 15. So now we say that's one ten and five ones. Now we're going to subtract. This is 17 minus 4 equals. We broke the 17 up into a 10 and a 7. Can we do 7 minus 4? Yes, we can. What is 7 minus 4? We got three, and then we still have our ten. But we don't put ten zero right. We don't want it to be one hundred three. That three is covering up the zero. So we have our ten, and then we had we took four from seven. So now we have one ten and three ones. Okay, now we have 14 minus six equals blank. We can make the 14 into a 10 and a four. But we can't do four minus six, can we? So we have to use this 10. We have to take the six from the 10 what would be 10 minus 6? Or you can count up from 6 to 10. So that would be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, if you don't know that in your head already. So that would be 10. So 10 minus 6 would be 4, but then we have to add this 4 here. Don't forget this 4. It's still part of the 14. So that would be 8. 4 and 4 makes 8. So do we have any tens? No. So we have zero tens 
and eight ones. Now you can always go back and check to make sure this is right. I know that was a little confusing, so you could always just count from six up to 14, and if it took eight, then that would be right. Okay, you're gonna do this side on your own. These two are adding. These two are subtracting, so be careful. Okay, if you're not done yet, just pause it and keep working. Okay, I'm going to flip over to the other side. I'm going to do the back. Let's read those directions. Read the word problem, draw and label, write a number sentence and statement that matches the story. So it's RDW. Rewrite your answer to show its tens and ones. If there is only one ten or one one, cross off the S. Here we go. Frankie and Maya made four big sandcastles at the beach. If they made ten small sandcastles, how many total sandcastles did they make? Okay, so it looks like they made four big ones and they made 10 small ones so how many total we don't know so let's do these four are big And these 10 were small. So we drew them and labeled them. Now we need to write a number sentence and a statement. Four plus equals, and this was the part we didn't know, we didn't know the total, but I bet you do now, go ahead and write it in there. Now a statement, they made, putting a blank here so that you write the number, Sand castles. Period. Then it wants you to fill in how many tens and how many ones. I can give you a hint. I know there's only one ten, so we're going to cross that S off. Okay, moving on 
on to number 10. If you're not done up here, just pause it and keep finishing. Here's number 10. Ronnie has eight stickers that are stars. Her friend Sina gives her seven more. How many stickers does Ronnie have now? Okay, she has eight stickers. Her friend Sina gave seven more. How many? We don't know. Okay, to figure this out, I'm going to go ahead and do Ronnie's eight stickers. for stickers. And then her friend Sina gave her seven more. And put M for more. So now we can write 8 plus 7 equals, and then here's the part we didn't know, but I bet you do now, so go ahead and write it in there. And now we need our statement. Ronnie has, I'm putting a blank here, but you go ahead and put a number there, blank stickers. Okay. Then you need to write the tens and ones. I'll give you a hint, there's only one ten, so we can cross off the S. Okay, I'm moving on to number 11, so if you're not done with 10 yet, you can pause it and finish. Here's number 11. We tied 14 balloons to the tables for a party, but three floated away. How many balloons were still tied to the tables? Uh-oh. If they floated away, do you think this is adding or subtracting? So we tied 14 balloons to the tables. Three floated away. How many? We don't know. How many still tied to the tables? Okay. I'm going to put 14 balloons. These are tied to the table. Three floated away. So if three floated away, does that mean we need to draw more or does that mean we need to cross them off? We're going to cross them off and I'm going to go from the end here. And I'm going to put F for 
float it away. So now my number sentence will look like this. 14 minus 3 equals, and then here's where you need to figure out how many are still tied to the table. So our statement can be blank balloons were tied. give you a hint. There's only one ten, so we can cross off the S. And I'll give you another hint. There's only one one, so we can cross off the S there, too. Okay, if you're not done yet with eleven, that's okay, you can pause it and finish. I'm now moving on to number 12. It says, I ate five of the 16 strawberries that I picked. How many did I have left over? Ooh, eight, five, 16 were picked. Left over? We don't know. So we started with 16 strawberries that we picked. eight five of them. Does that mean we're going to get five more strawberries or does that mean five of those strawberries go away? Five go away. There's a quick five right there. Um, I'm going to put an A for eight. We eight them. Which means these are the ones that are left. So our number sentence then would be we have 16 strawberries minus the 5 that got eaten, and that equals how many left over? So I can write, I had blank strawberries left. Give me another hint. We don't need these S's. Make sure that all these blank spaces have your number in them. I left those for you to do and fill in on your own. When you're done, it goes in the done tub. If you didn't have enough time, put it in the to be finished tray.